Hello everyone, welcome to our daily man. If there is one thing that is very much inevitable for us as we go on with our life, that is experiencing death and loss. You see, one way or another, we have witnessed someone returning back to the Father, and we ourselves might have experienced loss also in our life. But regardless of what manner and losing someone is or losing something is, we can actually agree that in experiencing such thing, it can really be painful. But the question is, in experiencing loss and grief in our life, where can be the source of our comfort? Today, I just want to read to you John 16, verses 22 to verse 28. The word of the Lord says, So with you, now is your time of grief. But I will see you again, and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. There truly I tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. Though I have been speaking figuratively, a time is coming when I will no longer use this kind of language but will tell you plainly about my Father. In that day, you will ask in my name. I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf, no. The Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. This was after the time where Jesus told them, that there will come a time where Jesus is going to going back to the Father to be with his own Father. And so back then, the disciples, some of them were confused what Jesus meant. And when Jesus cleared out the very reason why he is returning to his Father, it was because he is going to give glory to his Father through the death that is very much impending for him. But you see, while we are going to look at the life of these disciples, we can actually see that some of them have became attached to Jesus Christ because Jesus has been with them throughout their ministry and throughout his ministry in this world. And so when Jesus was explaining this, Jesus also acknowledged that his disciples might feel grief. They might feel, you know, that losing factor of emotion in their hearts. Because if there is one thing that we can all agree as human beings, whenever we lose someone, it is really painful in our hearts. But what I really like about this passage is that when Jesus told these things to his disciples, he provided comfort for them. That comfort came from God alone telling that his presence will be with them and that whatever they will ask in his name, God is going to fulfill it. Today, we might have lost someone. We might have lost someone that is close to us. You know, maybe a family member. Let it be that our comfort also in losing this season or maybe in losing someone today, we will continually find that comfort in God, knowing that He is in full control, knowing that in that future where, where He is, we can be reunited with our Savior, we can be reunited with our loved ones, with the Creator. And this, we can actually find comfort knowing that in whatever situation we are right now, Jesus is very much close to us, who is very broken-hearted in experiencing loss. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, it is my prayer. I know the feeling of experiencing loss and grief. I know that it is not easy. But the greatest comfort we can have is that Jesus experienced it too. The disciples experienced it too. And so therefore, He understands our pain, our grief. And we can look forward to a future because He will turn that grief, He will turn that sorrow into joy, knowing that we will be with Him and will be reunited with our loved ones one day with Him in heaven. Allow me to pray for you. Today, Lord, it is my prayer for everyone who has experienced loss, who has experienced a sorrow, Lord, in their hearts. It is my prayer, Lord, that in this time of pain, you'll remind them, Lord, that you are close to them. Maybe, Lord, some of them right now are feeling down. Maybe some of them, Lord, are hopeless and feeling helpless. 
But all the more, Father, it is my prayer that you will remind them, Lord, that you have a promised future, even for their loved ones, even for them, that your comfort will be upon them this very moment. Thank you, Lord God, because we know that your presence is here with us. Unite us, Lord, with your love. Continually remain in our hearts and allow us to know, Lord God, your goodness. Thank you, Lord God, for granting us this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you.